the Secure Arkansas Chair. Uh, the many phone calls that we received individuals and churches all around our state, and we felt obligated, you know, to come here and speak for the act, and it is law, and we were just asking the commission to comply with the law. It's, it's already decided. It's just a matter, like the commission said, of the placement of the monument. So that's what we're here to do, is, is wish to speak for the bill. For the, for the act. Well, you know, when you really look back at this, we see the, the Ten Commandments as a historical monument. I mean, that's the basis of our government. That's what our government was founded on. So there's no getting away from it, because like I stated in my comment, there would, there would have to be lots of monuments in Washington, D.C. and all across this nation taken up because very clearly we already have on the cap state capitol grounds here in Arkansas a monument of the Liberty Bell that says in God we trust. So, you know, I see that if we let uh, this fanaticism go too far, that, you know, they would reshape our government and take up monuments all across the nation. So that's why we're here for replacement of the Ten Commandments. What would you have to say for people that say that this is a religious thing and, you know, they don't have a God that's not representative? Well, very clearly in Act 1231, that's already passed and is a law that we need to comply with, it literally says not to construe this as in favor of any religion. So see, to, to slant this argument, uh, making it in favor of religion is, is a moot point. To me, it's it's unconstitutional. What the, the bill or the act that's already passed is constitutional. There's no getting away from that. And that's what the commission was here to do, was to comply with the law. And they're, they're going to take their views to the Secretary of State and present them what they rec where they recommend for the placement of the monument. And I do know that uh, many of the pastors that are here wanted the Ten Commandments displayed in a prominent place. They, they really did want the Ten Commandments on the front lawn where people could see, where pictures could be taken and, uh, you know, be a very prominent place. I think our state, I think this sets just sets a really good example for the people of the state of Arkansas. Thank you, honey. You're a cutie. Okay.